Okay guys, today's video we're gonna find out what's the best GPU for video editing for professional workstation in 2019. Coming up. Finding the best workstation is not that easy as finding the best gaming PC. On the gaming PC you got different GPUs from the slower ones to the high end and for sure the high end is gonna perform better than the lower. And uh, in the workstation side, this can be a little bit different. Sometimes the high-end video card performs even worse than the middle-range video card. And that's what we're gonna be seeing here. We got top-of-the-line video card from Nvidia and from AMD, and we're gonna be comparing between them to see which one is the best performance. If going with the higher price is better sometimes with the Quadro video card, or just going with the RTX 2080 is, um, is a better choice. First, let's take a quick look on the list of the GPUs we got right here. RTX 2080, comes with 8GB of VRAM at the 700 price tag. RTX 2080 Ti, this GPU is the best seller of 2018-2019, most popular gaming GPU, comes with 11GB of RAM and the price tag of $1200. The Titan RTX, is the most powerful video card, this is the top of the line Nvidia gaming GPU, comes with 24GB of VRAM for the price tag of $2500. So most of you ask about Quadro GPU. What are the benefits of Quadro? Do they really worth buying? Today we'll figure it out. Quadro RTX is one of the latest Quadro series, which includes RTX 4000, 5000, 6000, and 8000. We decided to choose the RTX 5000 because it seems a sweet spot. It's come with 16 gigs of RAM and a price tag of $2300. Hey Ruben, what's the green uh, graphics cards on your table? What is this? Well, this graphic, this graphic card here is the Quadro RTX 5000. And you may think, why we don't choose the 4000 or 6000, even the 8000. 8000 is really expensive video card. 8000 comes with 24 gigs of RAM, and that's why we have here the RTX Titan, which also comes with 24 gigs of RAM. But what's, uh, what are the benefits of the Quadro GPUs? Do they really worth buying it? We're gonna find out that in this video. That's what we're gonna find out. All the people outside that wanna say, uh, you know, we, are, we, we have been told for many years the Quadro video card is the one you need for workstation and we understand that. When you want to multiply in parallel to connect video cards, the Quadro, yes, is the best because they combine together and having two of these video cards you will have 16 plus 16 so in total will be one video card of 32. That option is for people that use that specific use case. But for other people like tree rendering, uh, video editors, all these people, all, all these customers, maybe it makes sense better to go with the RTX consumer side, like a 2080 Ti. And that's exactly what we're gonna find out with the test we're gonna show you coming up. Before we start, let me show you what's the test bench we're gonna use for this test today. This is Bison V5000 video editing and rendering workstation. Up to 18 cores and up to three GPUs. Check the link in the description to check Bison liquid cool workstation. Also, we have four GPU and even seven GPU desktop and servers with custom liquid cooling system. Air cooling Titan RTX or RTX 2080 Ti's are extremely hot under the heavy load in multiple GPU configurations. When GPUs are overheating, they will activate thermal tooling mode and start losing performance. Thermal tooling means that the fans can no longer dissipate the heat and graphic cards start to dump performance to shit heat. You have seen up to 30, 60% performance drops due to overheat. Liquid cooling is the best solution. It will provide 24-7 stability, low noise, and will get 100% performance out of the GPU. No overheating, no performance drop. That is. Check the link in the description to check Bison Liquid Cool Workstation lineup. So now, let's get into the benchmark. Okay, Ruben, what's the best workstation GPU of 2019? Okay, for the test we did already, we can, you can imagine that the best GPU right now is the Titan RTX uh, 24 gigs of RAM. This video card has 24 gigs of RAM, it has a tensile cores, CUDA cores, and for the price and performance, 
is uh, the best GPU to pick up for professional and for workstations. Even though it, in some cases it's even two times the performance of the Quadro RTX 5000. Now, let's take a look a little bit. Let's let's um, let's break down the performance in, uh, for different budgets. If you're looking for the best workstation right now, no question, go with the Titan RTX. That's the best you can get right now. If you want something on the middle. I would say go with the 2080 Ti, which has 11 GB, and on the test, you saw that it's even a little bit better than the Quadro RTX 5000. If you're looking for something, uh, if you look at the low budget, the best video card will be the 2080. Even better, uh, it's close and similar to the RTX 5000, but still you have the CUDA cores, you have Tensor cores inside, and all the software has you saw that obtain the new benchmark is improven using the Tensor cores on these video cards and the performance we see is two times better. So oh, it's better to go with Nvidia. Now, if your software you use, you don't use CUDA and you prefer to have HBN2 memory, I would say go with the uh, AMD Radeon 7 if you don't use the CUDA cores. If not, then switch to CUDA. And as you can see, uh, unfortunately, all the software we're using right now, talking about Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, um, all the trade rendering, Octane, V-Ray, all of them are using the CUDA and Tesla cores on this video card. So it would be better to go with NVIDIA uh, at least at this time. Okay, I hope you like this video. Please leave, let us know in the comment below what you think about this test. If you want us to perform other tests, we have a different uh, setups here. So for you, for the professional that was, watch our channel, it will be better for you to make a decision when pushing like a computer. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next one.